Quick disclaimer, the product in this video has been given to us by UltraPro. A big thank you to them, it helps us to be able to do more and more reviews for all of you guys. However, it's worth noting they don't get to see this review or have any input in it at all. We've done it as we would do any other review. It just helps us to do some slightly more expensive products and some slightly different ones. So, big thank you to them and hope you enjoy the video. Hello everyone and welcome to another double sleeve review where today we're looking at the Ultra Pro Deluxe Gaming Trove. Bit of a big boy, but will it be what you need? Let's see in our double sleeve review. When reviewing storage systems like this, we have five categories. Quality, security, storage, accessories, and of course, price. Starting off with quality, we look at the build, the materials, and the overall functionality of the design. The outside of the bag is made from some heavy duty fabric with some padding surrounding a plastic case. The internal plastic box is fairly thin and not particularly well built. However, when combined with the external box, it should be absolutely fine. We just wish it was lined or maybe made of something slightly tougher. The handles and straps seem fairly well attached, however there was fraying starting to show where some of the threads were coming a little bit loose. It wasn't affecting the stability of the handles, but eventually that is going to be a problem and shows maybe a little bit of quality assurance going a little bit wrong. One big plus point for some people is that this bag is subtle. It does not shout TCG or Gamer. Uh, it is a lovely black simple with Ultra Pro written on the side back, which is perfect if you are traveling in public and do not want other people to know what you're carrying, especially if you're carrying potentially expensive cards with you, something that people do not want to draw attention to. As a full sealed case, this is perfectly strong enough. I wouldn't sit on it, but I would certainly be happy with putting books or something on top or having it roughed about at my LGS without any problem. However, if it's empty or if the components are separated, then I would expect that any amount of uh, significant force leaving it underneath some sort of heavy load, you would find some bending, some breaking and not ideal. To see how the case would deal with a bit of a rain shower or someone spilling their drink directly on top of it, we poured some water on the front but also on the zip area just to see what the impact on the inside would be. Pleasantly surprised to see that the top area absorbed the water or let the water run off and nothing was found inside. However, the zip definitely is not waterproof, water resistant or anything the like. Water did get in. So I would be nervous in having this out in a rain shower. I would also be hesitant in storing any cards loose, not at least sleeved um, or sleeved, double sleeved in a deck box, something like that just on the off chance that any liquids did get inside. In terms of storage, um, this is primarily meant for deck boxes and I would suggest that you look at the deck boxes you have and check this video and see whether or not they will all fit neatly inside. It's a large space, so five Eclipse deck boxes by Ultra Pro or similar deck boxes you can get from a number of different places uh, will fit uh, fairly well inside. However, the satin cubes and then satin towers don't quite fit perfectly, which is a little bit frustrating. Uh, but either way, if you're looking to take more than two, three, maybe four deck boxes, uh, potentially you're using a rucksack anyway and you're probably carrying more stuff than this would hold either. Another option is just to remove the insert and put the deck boxes straight into the bag. This works just fine, you lose a little bit of the rigidity of it, but yes, you'll be able to carry a few more deck boxes that way, it's a little bit more flexible. However, I like the ability to carry a playmat and chances are if you're carrying multiple deck boxes, then you're serious about your cards and you're probably serious enough to need a playmat anyway, so you're going to want to have somewhere to put it. The internal plastic box does come with five dividers to split up the main compartment. Uh, this can store decks. Um, I think the, the third notch is enough for a double sleeved commander deck of 100 cards. Uh, however, as I said earlier, I probably wouldn't be putting anything but deck boxes in here. It seems a little bit silly to do so. But if you want to compartmentalize and have your deck 
in one area and then maybe other things in the rest of it, then yes, that could be useful. The flexibility is nice even if you don't use it. So really, as far as storage goes, the bigger the space, the more you can fit in it, which isn't surprising. However, if you are carrying something of this size, I would make sure you could definitely fit enough stuff in it uh, so as not to have to take another bag, which potentially, if you're fairly minimalist, you could. Carrying on from storage is accessories, and depending on what sort of accessories you have, you will have plenty of room. If you've got a bag of dice, they'll fit in here with a deck box or two. If you've got a couple of play mats, they'll certainly fit in here rolled up. However, if you're someone who brings lots of different accessories, life pads, you want to bring large items, evidently they're not going to fit in here. However, for the average person, this should be more than fine. Lastly, we come to price, and it's a difficult one to rate because on Ultra Pro's website it works out at £33, and on our deck boxes guide that would be a 3 out of 10. However, we'll make an adjustment as this is slightly different to a normal deck box. However, I would urge you to do your own research on price. Maybe there's somewhere you can get it for a little bit cheaper, or potentially you can't access Ultra Pro's website from where you are, in which case you may have to pay a bit of a premium. I would say you would be looking to compare this price-wise to a backpack or similar messenger bag as that is the kind of niche that this is fulfilling. And that's our review of the Ultra Pro Deluxe Gaming Trove. A big thank you to Ultra Pro for giving us this review model and letting us be honest and open in our reviews. Did we do a good job or do you think this is not needed in the gaming world? Either way, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and any other products you want us to be reviewing in the future. If you like this video, then show us with a like and why not subscribe to see more videos in the future. We really appreciate it, guys. Have a good one and we'll see you later.